I can't believe people don't think this is real. It's real. Tonight, a word of warning from a Bay Area family after they all came down with the coronavirus. Good evening. I'm Jennifer Lee. I'm Keith Kate. Thank you for joining us tonight. A Bay Area mother is sharing a heart wrenching story about coronavirus. Her whole family has it her twin babies, her daughter, husband, even her mother who lives with them is sick. Eight on your side is Jeff Patterson joining us live in Tampa. This has to be a burden on everyone in that family, Jeff. Oh, it's just. Just heart wrenching, Keith. If you ask this mother, she doesn't think it's a very good idea for children to come back to school right now. And she shared a powerful message with Aid on Your Side for people who think this virus is, sick, is fake or that it doesn't impact children. Hi, Jeff. How are you? Right now, Anna Salise is dealing with an entire house of sick people, including herself. Um, my husband is sick, and the two babies are sick. And my mom is not feeling so well either. She has twin babies. One of her children has a congenital heart condition and has spent time on a ventilator. And that was before COVID 19 hit their house. Her husband works in healthcare, and they have home health care nurses who come in to help with their son. It was just a matter of time for things to happen. Things did happen. A week ago, her husband complained of a headache, then lost his sense of taste and smell. And then Saturday night, um, Samuel, uh, my twin baby, the medical, my medical complex baby, he broke out with a really bad fever. Her son's fever spiked at 104. Now, everyone in the house has been tested for COVID-19, but it may take up to 10 days to get the results. Yes, we are going with the symptoms, and I think we all have it at this point. Anna is shocked that some people think the virus is a fake. I can't believe people don't think this is real. It's real. She says her family's medical problems right now are very, very real. My husband suffers from asthma. He has been having a hard time breathing. Um, my daughter, she's a healthy baby, and she's having a hard time keeping her oxygen levels at normal point. And she believes it won't be safe for children to return to school, given what she's seen. My daughter is having really high fevers. She's coughing. She has runny noses and she's really uncomfortable and is having a hard time keeping her oxygen level. So I don't think kids should be back on school. So Anna's message for all of us, wear a mask. When you're in public, when you're in closed spaces, when you're inside around other people, wear a mask. It's really not that hard. In Tampa, Jeff Patterson, 8 on your side.